Hi, I'm Taylor with Domo. Today I'm going to show you how to build a form user task in a workflow. To do so, let's go ahead and add a user task indicated by this person icon. Now we need to choose the configuration type. I'm going to choose form. You'll see that a couple things pop up here and we'll need these pre-configured. You'll need a queue. If you don't have one, you can go over to our queues tab over here and add a queue. I do have a few already, so I'm going to choose one. Then you can choose who you want to assign this form user task. You can choose unassigned or custom, and you can choose a specific person. I'm just going to leave it as unassigned. And then we want to explore our forms. If you don't have a form created already, you can click new form here, and it'll take you over to our forms where you can add one. I'm going to choose this employee info verification form. You'll notice it shows a preview of what the form looks like, so you can decide if it's the correct one. And it'll show you also the inputs and outputs. Inputs are used for the workflow to provide default values to each field if you want them to accept default values, which is also configured in forms. And the outputs are the values from each field that you want the workflow to use. So this one looks good and we'll select this one. Now you'll notice that all of my parameters are unmapped because I don't have any variables. I'm going to add them to my start and this will show that you can do this from another workflow to start this workflow and provide values to it. An example of this is if you have a workflow looping over users on Domo and on each iteration of your loop you want to verify their employee information. You would take the variables of that row and you can pass them to this workflow. I'm going to set up all the input parameters for this form, which are just name, phone number, and email. You don't have to name them the exact uh, same way as on the form, but if you do, you'll see that they automatically map for me, so it makes it nice and easy. Alright, and then once that's verified, what you could do is you could pass the output values to append a row on a data set or update a row on a data set with the new values if you want to update the user information. For me though, I'm just going to end here. So we'll save and deploy this workflow and I'll show you what it looks like. We'll go ahead and start this. We'll enter in our name, our email, and our phone number. And maybe we want this formatted in a certain way. You can do it however you want. And we'll start that. So you'll notice that our instance started successfully, so we can click on that notification to see where it's at. And you'll see it's sitting here waiting on the user task. So user tasks, uh, much like email user tasks, are going to sit and wait until the user task has been completed before it moves on in the workflow. So I'm going to go over to queues, and you'll notice that I now have an account review task waiting for me to fill out. So let's open this. Okay, please verify your info below. Yeah, everything looks right. Okay, if I needed to make changes here, you can. Nice and easy. Maybe there's a spelling mistake, something like that. And we'll go ahead and save and submit. So that task completes and it falls off of my list because I have it filtered to open. We can go back over to workflows, go into my demo videos, we're going to view the instance list of this workflow that I just started. You'll see that it's now complete. If we click on that, we can then see the values that was were entered in from that form. So like I said earlier, it's really nice if you want to take a user input and update data sets, maybe add a new row if you want to take a survey. It's nice and easy right on Domo. All right, thanks so much for watching.